This may appear to be only monkey business, but in reality, it's very serious, ladies. Zero Issues Comic Podcast! Zero Issues Comic Podcast! Excelsior! <gasps> Hi! Merck's, Merck's doing the whole theme song. <laughs> yeah. I love just singing He's along. He's also doing the dancing. old theme song. Yeah. It's got the animal sounds. and It's like when, uh, when an episode of The Simpsons is like running short, so they put in that, the opening where they just like have a million different couch gags. That's, uh, yes. that's what we're, we're going to do this time. It's so short. <laughs> Oh boy, this theme song has got to be 40 minutes long. <laughs> it just gets to the end and then suddenly goes backwards and yeah. Yeah, does it, it reverse. It's, it's the fish version of it. Mm. It's, it's a cool jam. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, welcome to the show. Welcome to the uh, second video show that we've done. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's number two. Yep. We've done uh, sure like, what, almost 300 audio podcasts but yes very few video uh but they've all been this we've done uh dramatic reads so we take um from this book here <laughs> the bible oh yeah fletcher hanks turn loose our death rays and kill them all highly recommended go find it and purchase mm-hmm. it in the finest of uh retail environments mm-hmm. um or order it online all, uh, or or that whatever you're as seen on TV store yeah or <laughs> but it's a collection of Fletcher Hanks if you don't know who Fletcher Hanks is it, you will totally understand as we go through it it's a collection of his wacky weird stories from like the 40s and 50s and sci-fi and fantasy stuff that he wrote and did all the art for it and it's ridiculously fun Extremely normal dude, extremely normal comics. Oh, totally, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So let's jump in. Shall we? We shall. Um, So we have, well, I guess, well, we don't need to introduce who's doing who, do we? Because we're a video this time. Or we could. That's right. Well, we could. I'm going to be narrating it. My name is Merck. Mm -hmm. I will be narrating... Uh, I mean, uh, okay. My name my name is Bry, and I will be uh playing the villain of the piece with some other characters you'll meet along the way. You just have to find out. And I will be the uh, the titular Stardust, the Super Wizard, uh, Stardust. along with some other little bits. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Let's begin. Stardust again visits the Earth. He has learned that a man of vast power is seeking to plunge the world into a gigantic war. Through the underworld of the leading nations, this man secretly controls their governments and munitions factories. If he can cause a world war, he will become the richest and most powerful man in all history. Few people know he even exists. Lords of the underworld call him Rip the Blood. (laughs) Rip. (laughs) <laughs> what? what a ridiculous <laughs> name like what i don't know what it's hyphenated too like very and it's hy- well, like, rip the blood well that's look, how he always look, does his like that or hanks always does stuff like that yeah yeah or it's when they talk to each other when they say the name it's in quotations every time or whatever okay rip the blood fears no one except the mysterious and mighty stardust Rip the Blood is in his own secret sanctum, planning how to stop Stardust. Now that Stardust has broken up the spy army, he'll be on my trail. I must destroy him. I must wipe him out of existence! (laughs) Your face and pasta hair are amazing. Yeah, I, uh... (laughs) (laughs) Yummy, yummy. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Hey. Rip the Blood orders his best trap set. Oh, that's me still. 
<laughs> I think so, yeah. I, I guess Rip it's the, just a I silhouette. Mean, it's so easy to forget that your name is Rip the Blood. <laughs> <laughs> so normal. First, we'll set the wine trap. When Stardust comes in this area, we'll draw him down with the magnet and whirl him into the glue pit. Set up all the long-range detectors so that we'll know just where Stardust is when he comes around. Do you think he'll come here, Rip? Oh, sure, he's after me. He's not going to let me start this world war, but I'll <laughs> fool him. He's after me. He loves me. Yeah. He sends me notes all the time. <laughs> All right, now we're in on the page two. On page two. In the meantime, we must get America at war with somebody. Listen, buddy, oh, you that's don't not going to be hard to do. Not have to do anything at all. <laughs> <Not> really. <laughs> Just wait. Just wait five seconds. It'll happen. Yeah. Uh, what is the panel order? Is a little strange here. I assume that I know. it's going this like. Yeah, this particular tell, like, story is is only six pages long, and I noticed yeah. he's always weird with his panel structure and order. Like it doesn't, it's not left to right, top to bottom. Like it kind of is, but you're not sure where to go. I'm just uh, gonna read if it this. Keep, yeah, yeah, go. Let's like, just the, read it left, left to right. Yeah. yeah, we're just gonna read it like they're going down the stairs. Yeah, yeah, you know, like comics are supposed to be read. Sure, <laughs> sure. Here's a way we'll start it. We'll paint up a plane to look like a, j a, ja a Japanese a Japanese bomber. I'm not doing this. I'm not yep. doing what you did, Fletcher. Then, when the president goes on his next fishing trip, we'll send the or plane golfing. out. Or golfing. Yes. <laughs> Which he will be. <laughs> we'll send the plane out and capture him and hide him up in the clouds for a while. <laughs> then we'll use him. <laughs> Then we'll use every <laughs> trick to make the United States declare war on Capania. Wait, what? They already did? Oh! Okay, where did Capania come from? Cap I don't know. Capania. I, th I assume Cause... I'm pronouncing that right. Capania. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty it, well... sure it was it was, a, it was a Capanese bomber, right? Oh, no. Maybe. Yeah. God. Yeah, I'm not really sure what, what, what's there, what's going on there. It's like Start a war with Japan, make up a fictional country. But we and can't make, we gotta make up a fake one. Yeah, <laughs> but I, uh, I'm i pretty sure Capania is never mentioned again. I, I could be wrong. <laughs> <but. laughs> That's weird. All right. All right, oh, the exactly president, really. okay, well, now we're on yeah. the ocean. The president's yacht cruises out to sea. A fine day for fishing, Mr. President. And a plane that looks like a Japanese bomber appears. Without warning, the plane swoops down to the presidential yacht. Dot, 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 uh, look, dot. a Japanese plane. <laughs> That's the president. That's the president, everybody. I like how he... Oh, whenever the United he, States? <laughs> wherever he has his, like, story structure, when something happens, he just, like, just jumps over it and weirdly explains it like they landed and already kidnapped the president but he's already gone masked men heavily armed and silent quickly board the yacht and overpower the crew and they're already in the air yeah it's it's, it's the first rule of visual storytelling only tell they use Never black show. light <laughs> they use black light bombs and escape before the black light disappears what does that mean well, I don't think it's black light, like, you know, make stuff sort of glowy. Yeah, it was like, like oh, my it's velvet like, paintings like are looking all weird. Bomb. It's, it's like a darkness bomb, which oh. feels more like a like a D and d spell. <laughs> Sometimes his Lightning color bolt. palette hex, is hex. like one of those felt posters, though, so maybe. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. The news is flashed all over the world. Holy mackerel! <laughs> <laughs> President vanishes in strange seaplane. That's the headline. The next day. Rip says, tell everybody it was a Japanese plane. <laughs> ah, now my world war will be going strong. Give Stardust doesn't stop it. 
that guy's really happy to have a cameo. He's like barely in the scene. He's just in the corner. I'm I'm mostly sure that my rip the blood voice is different in every panel, but who cares? That's totally fine. So is how. Well, That's, I was gonna say I so. Mean, yeah, you, you were gonna say so. Does he? He looks different in every panel, except for the ones that look like they're copy pasted. Yeah, yes, they look ones. identical. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. His pasta hair blood. changes color. <laughs> yeah, it does too. Rip the Blood's plane, camouflaged as a huge bomber, carries the president far away. Into the clouds? Is it was it gonna hide him in the clouds? Yeah, they're up they're up in the clouds. Yep, the they're clouds. up in world five of Mario 3. <laughs> Look back! Oh my! Suddenly the plane becomes the center of a brilliant flash. When the flash is over, the masked men find their prisoner gone. Good lord, the president has disappeared! What? <laughs> Apparently he was abducted <laughs> by ninjas. What? <laughs> I don't know. If we could do it In over Washington- again, it would be Al. <laughs> what? In Washington, there is another flash just, so- just above the White House. Flash. The news is soon broadcast to the American people. Our president. Oh, no, you go ahead. You, go you, ahead. you, you. You're already doing it. Our president has mysteriously appeared at the White House unharmed. That must be the work of Stardust. Thank heaven. Now we'll have no war. Ever again. Good luck. <laughs> Yuck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> When Rip the Blood hears the news, he goes into a rage. Stardust is ruining my plans. I'll have to put that meddler where he belongs. <laughs> Your voice was like he suddenly just chain smoked 40 <laughs> cigarettes. <laughs> just added just... in a cigarette between every finger. <laughs> uh, Rip, Rip repra- prepares to lure Stardust to his death. We must get him into that wind trap and glue pit. A <laughs> glue pit. What? Rip's detectives begin to register. That must be Stardust. I can tell by his speed. He's passing close to the wind trap. From the castle window, Rip sees the brilliant form of Stardust in the nearby sky. Turn on all the power. We'll fix him right now. The powerful mechanical device is set in motion as Stardust comes in range. Stardust seems unable to resist the power of the wind trap and enters the world. Suddenly he releases his high power fusing ray and the trap curls into a mass of wreckage. Rip the blood is dumbfounded. (laughs) Good lord. That's the smallest panel in this whole page. Just a little... Eh, little tiny little. guy. <laughs> but the next panel <laughs> is the best. Before he can recover from the shock, a vibration almost floors him. What the... I don't know if he's, like, surfing or dancing or about to take a dump. I don't know. All three. All three. <laughs> he's, he's he's almost floored. Yeah. yeah. Almost Not floored. Quite, though. Yep. So close, so close. Then comes the Stardust Flash, and a powerful voice addresses him from out of the light. You're mur- yeah, f- <laughs> You murderous fiend, your days are numbered. <laughs> the light vanishes. You who plan to plunge the world into terrible war and suffering, you shall get a just reward. What? He didn't say anything. I just felt like it. I'm Hands him a couple you. of like little gambling I'm not tickets. Touching you. <laughs> I could <come> on! Boke <laughs> boke. Eh. While Stardust is taking Rip's bodyguard, what? Oh, sorry. While Stardust is talking, Rip's bodyguards turns loose their blood dry blood drying needle. Wow, blood drying <laughs> needle bombs on him. Uh, this'll fix him. 
It's actually just filled with PCP. <laughs> I mean, that's what it does. It, it dries blood. Yeah. Yeah. Stardust's keen senses feel the gun being focused on him, so he quickly uses his boomerang ray, and the men fall helplessly down the stairs. I don't, is that... I can't tell... Rip's, Rip the Blood was wearing red, and now he's wearing blue? They, like, changed clothes. That's fine. I don't know. Oh! <laughs> That's what he sounds like. It's... That's the power of the power of Stardust. He can change the color of your clothes. That's true. It's one of his rays. Stardust grabs the terrifying rip <laughs> and crushes <laughs> and crushes his, ri- his just rib like, case. Just like, like a this. can. It's like this. I'm I'm gonna do a little video magic. Crunch. <laughs> <laughs> it works. Now you shall s- now you shall see the end of your war plans. Ouch! <laughs> My <He> wrist <laughs> Everything's crushed! <laughs> he whisks Whip up into the air. <laughs> Whew! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> he's like he's having a blast. <laughs> well, I can't breathe anymore because my ribcage was caved in, but wee! At least enjoy it, you know? Enjoy the fun, the ride. And then makes himself invisible as they dart through the sky. Why? What is the (laughs) point of... All right. You'll see, you'll see. So it just looks like him. Fletcher didn't want to draw that right now. Yeah, Uh, yeah. (laughs) Where are you taking me? (laughs) They arrive above one of Rip's secretly owned munitions factories. See your great factory, Rip? Yes! What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do to it? <laughs> See a factory? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it rules! <laughs> I love it! It's super! <laughs> a, a blinding flash fills the sky. Look at the detail there. That's Oh, yeah. Green killer. and yellow? <laughs> and red. Uh, and oh. red. Uh, just, oh. The mastery of color. When Rip looks again, the munitions factory has completely disappeared. Oh my lord. Millions of dollars gone. He's and suddenly from the he's suddenly from the south. <laughs> and millions of lives saved. I shall do that to each of your factories. Uh-huh. All my factories. Stardust whisks Rip to the top of a cliff besides the sea. And makes himself again visible. <laughs> Rip is be- like why I. Rip is now, becoming now desperate. Rip will be blamed. <laughs> look, at, look at the detail in that one. That like. Oh my god! It's just here's a little line, and here's that's a cliff. Sure, that's a cliff. Stardust makes himself look like a Japanese bomber. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stardust. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, oh. It- now you shall see all the conspirators who've been who have been working with you to cause your war. <laughs> As Rip <laughs> That is horrifying. It is. It is pretty terrifying. As Rip watches, he see he sees in the sky the forms of his associates all lying prone with their asses towards the sun. <laughs> It's like just Junji Ito just came in to draw these things. Like, what is up? Yeah. 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 Only took him a minute, though. Uh, Good Lord! There they all are! Now I shall put your friends in the custody of my interplanetary guardians of the peace. (laughs) That's, uh... That's worrying. He's like... Just... Interplanetary cops and can just take people off planets and... Where's you the think oversight? That's bad. <laughs> just wait. Yeah. Just wait till they get oh, to yeah. space. Oh yeah, it gets even better. It's Stardust. just like that movie. <laughs> the one where they play football in prison. All right. Yeah. But the remake with Adam Sandler. Oh, that's the best one. Obviously. Stardust then flashes a blue ray, and the men disappear in the direction of the North Star. You can't get away with this! 
Rip makes a murderous rush for Stardust and tries to knock him off the high cliff just, by, like, uh, punching him right uh, in the junk. Oh, I can only that. reach your package! Pow! <laughs> right in the Stardust. You can't meddle in my... Oh. Wait, did I say my thing? You can't meddle in my affairs like this! Stardust yes, grabs yes, the yes, dangerous... <laughs> Stardust grabs the dangerous war plotter <laughs> like a Ooh. sack of potatoes and down he goes <laughs> into the sea he goes Plunk. did That's did he re crush his like his abdomen yeah. or is yeah. it just like Fletcher Hanks remembered oh yeah his abdomen was crushed yeah he's like he crushed him yeah, yeah I think Rip like, the blood has uh, has special blood moving abilities. That's why they call him Rip the Blood. Let's Rip the Blood, yeah. yeah. People do not know that they have been saved. Oh, sorry. Yeah, people do not know that they have been saved from a horrible world war. Perhaps it is just as well they don't know, narrator. <laughs> now I'll break up the world war on Mars. Oh, my. There goes Stardust. It looks like he was headed to Mars. <laughs> 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 um, a couple of questions. These comics are mostly made in like the late '30s to early '40s, I assume, right? Well, there might be, obviously, there might be another World, World War, War you times. can help with, but but that's yeah. fine. <laughs> and again, let's let's go back to the fact that like Capania, Capania, yeah. never mentioned again. No, just mentioned once. Declare war yeah. on Capania. Meanwhile, Capania's like, what? Where, who? What? Everyone Why? in Capania is just war? like, when's someone going to declare war on us? It's not going to happen. Forgot about you. Yeah. We all did. Oh, Stardust, you who? never disappoint. <laughs> it's a lovely yeah, time. Yeah, I'm with, I'm with Brian. I'm with Brian. <laughs> <laughs> all right well, well that's it thanks for thanks 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 for coming out thanks thanks for coming out thanks for coming out it's what he yells as he falls to his death um i i can only hope that the stardust adventures never run out because never. when they do what are we gonna talk about yeah we're gonna have to be It'd be interesting because he's actually a public domain character now, and people have taken it up and yeah, continued yeah. stories. So I would like to track some of those down. That sounds that sounds very good. Uh, yeah. If they didn't exist, we'd have to create them. We just have to take a bunch of peyote and just go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Peyote Comics. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's the uh, only way. <laughs> that's. That's our shtick, Zero Issues yeah. Comic Podcast. Uh, I am Merck. You can find me at MerkAsylum.ca, M-E-R-K-A-S-Y-L-U-M.ca. Merck uh, on Facebook, Merck and Not Like Astronaut on Instagram. Uh, I am Bry. I guess I'll be Bry Kodak. Hi, I'm Bry Kodak. You can check out my comic at WelcomeToHereafter.com. And that's all I'm going to say. That's it. That's the end. No time for Kyle! But, it, but it's not! <laughs> but it's not! Uh, and I am Kyle Lees, and you can check my stuff out at thekylees.com or just by Googling the Kyle Lees. Uh, and that's the end. That's the end. And that's the Sh end. Show business. <laughs> Bye! Is, is that what we're doing? <laughs> That's the end. All right. <laughs> Merc? Oh, there he is. He's there. Okay, he's there. Bye. He shrunk.